Hey everyone, Sarah here from Sarah in Wonderland and today we are doing a little bit of a different video. So we're actually doing a holiday gift guide. I know this is going up a little bit late, but I figured better late than never. At least it can give you a little bit of an idea of what to get somebody. Hopefully you don't actually have to go out and buy all these things. These are just things that I know I would love getting for Christmas. And we're going to do something for the beauty lover, the fitness lover, uh, the homebody. So without further ado, let's get started because I have a feeling this video is going to be super long. So my first gift for anyone is obviously a puppy or a pony. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Don't actually do that. Although I would, mom, if you're watching this, puppy, pony, number one gift. Um, but don't actually go do that because people need to be able to take care of the puppy or the pony and the space for it. So don't just go and buy somebody a puppy or a pony. But mom, dead? Okay, anyways, so let's start off with the beauty lover because obviously we all know I love makeup, so I feel like those are probably my best recommendations. <laughs> I don't actually have all the products here, but what I do have, I will show you guys. So my first recommendation or gift idea to anyone, this is my all-time favorite palette. Nobody can go wrong with this. It's great for a beginner because it's really easy to blend out. It's great for a makeup lover in general because it is a beautiful palette. It has everything that you possibly need. I can't say enough good things about it. So it is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette. Mine's um, really beaten up and dirty because I use it all the time. I actually have it on my eyes right now. If you guys want to see a tutorial, that'll be coming soon. Also, I filmed that today. So anyways, this is the palette. You literally get everything you could possibly need. You get neutrals, you get brow bone highlights, you get uh, warm tones, you get pops of color, you have darker tones to deepen things up. Like there, you don't need anything else, literally. This is a one-stop shop palette. The quality of it is amazing. The price of it is really, really good. It runs for $38 on Morphe's website. You can also get it in Ulta now. And the packaging has been updated so that it's plastic, or coated, sorry, so that it doesn't get so dirty. So this is my number one Christmas recommendation. You cannot, cannot go wrong with getting somebody this, unless they already have it. But like, realistically, I wouldn't mind having to. So next, this is a little bit pricier, but I know I love getting makeup brushes. It's up there with eyelashes and these makeup brushes are amazing. I saw people rave about them on YouTube and stuff and I didn't really think that they would be worth the price. When I was at iMats this year, I picked a couple up and I use them every single time I do my makeup. So right now they're not clean because I just used them to do my makeup, but they are the Smith Cosmetics makeup brushes. They have everything from face brushes to eye brushes to detail brushes. I'll share a couple of my favorites with you guys if you guys want some ideas, but these are absolutely amazing. They wash really well, they have not fallen apart or shedded at all, and they blend out like no other brush I've ever used. So if you know a makeup lover, this is an amazing gift if you're willing to spend a little bit of extra money. So for face brushes, I have the Smith 112 brush. This is a contour bronzer brush, and it's a little bit for more precise work. I really, really like this brush. Um, but the star of their show is definitely their blending brushes for eyeshadow. So a couple of my favorites are the Smith 230, the Smith 247, the Smith 235, and my favorite brush out of all of them is the Smith 232. And then I also really like this dense packing brush, so this is the Smith 256. And then this is amazing for cut creases. It is sharp and precise and super easy to do a cut crease. So this is the Smith 212 brush. So these brushes range anywhere from $18 to $27, the ones that I just showed you. You can buy them in bundles, you can buy them individually. Nobody will dislike getting this gift, I can promise you that. Okay, so next, Sephora comes out with favorite kits every year. So favorite mascara kits, perfumes, they do styling products, uh, nude lipsticks, they literally have everything you could possibly think of right now. And I happen to get the dry shampoo one because I love dry shampoo. I also love trying different types of dry shampoo, which is kind of weird. So you get five of Sephora's best-selling dry shampoos in a kit. They are uh, mini versions, but they are a very generous size. And the kit is $39, so it's called the Dry Shampoo Sephora Favorites Kit. So you get the Living Proof Dry Shampoo, the 
dry bar detox dry shampoo the amika perk up dry shampoo this one smells really really good the bumble and bumble prep a powder dry shampoo this is an invisible dry shampoo which is cool because there's literally no color to it and then this one is also really cool this is the way dry shampoo foam so it's actually like a mousse they're great for on the go you can throw it in your purse throw it in your backpack like i have dry shampoo everywhere okay and i also just like the option of trying a bunch of different kinds so that was my next recommendation. So this is a great value for money. So this is the Tarte Lush Bazaar Amazonian Clay Blush Palette. So this is the box that it comes in. It's super pretty. And then the packaging is also really pretty. And then you get a ton of blushes in here. So you get 10 blushes, oh sorry. You really get eight blushes and two highlight shades. And these are my favorite blush formula ever. Um, I honestly have never found something that I like better. And you get, you have a blush in here for every look, every skin tone that you could possibly need. This runs for $57 Canadian and it has a $180 value. Another great gift, you guys knew this was coming. How could I do a video without recommending some lashes? You guys know my favorite lashes are the Velour lashes. Um, one of my favorite styles that is easy for everyday wear but also kind of glams up a look. Really a great lash for anyone is the style Dream Girl. So they're a little bit longer, a little bit more wispy. Um, they're very, very comfortable to wear, but they do add something to a look. Not enough to say, wow, you're wearing false lashes, but like I said, they're one of my favorite styles. Another of my favorite style is Serendipity. That is even more natural. And if you don't want to spend quite as much money, a great option and my all-time favorite lash is the Coco Lashes in the style Queen Bee. Those run $8. The Velour Lashes will run you $37 a pair. You can buy them in kits. You can customize your own lash. If you want to get somebody a little bit more of a pampering gift, I love face masks. So these are a great gift to give together or separately. I use these products religiously and I cannot live without them. So my first recommendation is the Fresh Rose Face Mask. This is a brand new one. This is a pricey mask. The packaging is beautiful, it is ceramic, and it is made with real rose petals, and it is a very hydrating mask. But anybody can use this mask, it's not just for dry skin. I use this mask about three times a week, and my skin is super hydrated, and just the rose also helps like calm your skin. So with that, I always use these. So these are the Peter Thomas Roth under eye patches. So I know these are kind of weird. So you get a little scoopy thing with it. These are the under eye patches. So when I put my face mask on, I'll also put these under my eyes and they help diminish any fine lines under there because your eyes are dehydrated is usually why you have fine lines under there if you're not drinking enough water or anything like that. These help diminish them as well as just hydrate them and your makeup goes on beautifully over top of them after. You get 30 pairs in here. So 30 uses all together and it is $60 compared to most other eye, under eye patches. Um, so for example, the Tarte ones run $29 for four pairs. These are $60 for 30 pairs. So they are about two bucks. You literally won't find anything cheaper. And they are amazing. I swear by them, as soon as I finish them, I will be going out to get another thing because I love them that much. So it's a great gift for somebody like skincare or likes to pamper themselves. And then lastly, kind of on the beauty front for pampering, I have the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. First of all, this stuff smells amazing. It smells like strawberries. Second of all, I have tried most lip masks on the market. I have tried the what the heck is that one called? Oh, the Bite Beauty Agave one. Nothing makes a difference like this one. It is quite sticky, but I can put it on at night and wake up and still know that it's there. It's so, so good. And it's the one thing that makes a huge difference in my lips. All right, guys, next on my list for the beauty lover, even if they are a beginner and just starting out into makeup or they love makeup and have everything that you could possibly imagine, this is a great, great gift because Anybody who loves makeup always needs these. Anybody who's starting out in makeup, these are a great tool. The Beauty Blender All About the Face Mini Beauty and Mini Beauty Solid. So it's a little bundle that you can buy. It is $50 at Sephora. It has a $65 value. 
So you, I'm really sorry, these are dirty. <laughs> you get the regular size beauty blender. You get the beauty blusher, which I love for concealer. And then you get the micro beauty blender. I don't use this one as much, but I still do use it for like blending out my eyeshadow primer or like in the crease of my nose or whatever. And then you also get a beauty blender solid cleanser, and that is my favorite way to clean my beauty blenders. So all in all, it is a great kit. What else? Okay. So for traveling with makeup, a couple little bags that I really like that I think would make a great gift. So this is the Morphe brush case. It is solid. It opens it opens up like this and your blush your blushes. Your brushes lay flat in here. That way they don't get bent or anything like that. I love carrying my face brushes in here when I travel that way because they are the fluffiest sometimes if you put them in a container with a lid. The, you'll open them up and the brush will all be fanned out. This, you don't have to worry about that. You just lay them down flat, close it up, and you're good to go. Love this. This is $20, and anyone who travels a lot or anything like that would really love this for their makeup brushes. And then next, for the makeup brush bags, this is a little bit more expensive. My brother bought this for me last year for Christmas, and I use it every single time I go traveling or if I go do someone's makeup, like a friend or whatever. I'm going to stay at a friend's house and we're getting ready. Um, this is the bag that I bring. So this is from Kate Spade. It is pink with glittery pink polka dots. Like, literally so beautiful. And then when you open it up, it has the plastic compartments. So it has one here, and then it has the folding one that also has a zipper on it. And you flip it to the other side, and then there's another plastic folding one, and then this one that does up with a zipper and then this one just kind of holds things in it. This holds a ton of makeup. I don't carry my brushes in it, I put my brushes in the brush holder that I just showed you, but this holds all the makeup that I need. Even if I go away somewhere for a week, this fits all my makeup. Um, the good thing about the plastic is if anything explodes in it, you just wipe it off and you're good to go. So I love this. There's also a zipper compartment on the front there. And yeah, it's really pretty. It wipes clean easily. So now they don't have this one exactly available anymore. Um, I'll link the closest one that I found down below. It is $129, which I know is a lot for a makeup bag, but I love this thing. And I think it's a great gift idea for somebody who also loves makeup. Okay, these kind of fit in two categories, like the homebody slash the beauty lover. I've included it in the beauty lover category. So you guys have heard me talk about this so many times. Like it is not normal for somebody to talk about a body wash this much. But I am recommending as a gift, I think anyone would love this, moms, beauty lovers, anything like that. It is the L'Occitane Almond Shower Oil. This is like such a luxury product that isn't necessary, but I can't live without it now. So it smells amazing. It feels really great. You can get out of the shower and not have to put any moisturizer on, which is really nice. So another gift idea for a beauty lover is a hair mask. I love this. So this is the IGK Expensive Amelia Oil High Shine Top Coat. So it is essentially like a deep conditioner. You leave it on for one to two minutes in the shower and it, literally you your hair will never ever be softer. I can almost guarantee you that. It is $35. So the last beauty product that I have with me to recommend to you is a little bit more of an expensive item and when I say a little bit more of an expensive item I mean it is quite expensive but in the long run I feel like it saves you money. This is definitely a splurge gift if you're wanting to spend a little bit more money on somebody. This is an amazing gift that you cannot go wrong with if you know they straighten their hair. I straighten my hair not every day but every time that I shower and I have had this hair straightener for like 10 years, 9 years something ridiculous. I've literally had it since grade nine. So nine years. So this is a GHD professional platinum hair styler. It is a hair straightener. Mine is just black. It has one temperature control. It also came with this heat resistant pouch, which you don't think you would use that often, but I use it all the time to travel with and stuff. Now don't get me wrong, I have taken very good care of this hair straightener. It stays in the container when I'm not using it and it gets put away, but this thing is amazing. It does not pull on your hair and rip it out or anything. Your hair does not get caught in it. It looks smooth and flat afterwards. My hair 
is I'd never cut it and it should be a lot more dead than what it is but it's not because of this heat styler um, because of the ceramic plates heats up super quickly like 15 seconds or something ridiculous I have had this thing for literally ever and it's still going and that is why I will never ever buy another brand of hair straightener because this one has done nothing but good things for me. So this will run you $299 Canadian, which I know, like I said, is a lot of money, but considering how long I've had it, I know a lot of people that spend $50 here on a hair straightener and $80 there and $40 here, and they always just keep breaking and you keep replacing them and you damage your hair. And don't get me wrong, this does still damage your hair, but not nearly as much as other hair straighteners I've used. Like I said, my mom got it for me as a gift in high school, and I have graduated university, and I still have it. So now a couple of things that I don't have that I still would like to recommend. Okay, so Kat Von D came out with a mini liquid lipstick set. I think there is six liquid lipsticks in it, if I'm not mistaken. And it has my favorite liquid lipstick shade, which is Ludwig. And then it also has just a variety of neutrals from very nude to darker nudes to, I think there is a black one in there, if not like a very, very dark color. And this will run you $66. They are generous size mini liquid lipsticks. And that way the person gets variety, gets to try out a bunch of different colors. Also one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas ever, so highly recommend. A another product that I would recommend that I don't have is like a vanity mirror. I'm lucky that I have the really pretty big vanity mirror with lights, but I know even if I go traveling or anything like that, having a small vanity mirror to bring with you with lights really makes a difference. So from Impressions Vanity, they have that exactly. So it has a dimmable light and it goes all the way around kind of like a mini Hollywood style mirror. And those are $27 US, so nothing crazy expensive, but also a really nice gift. And lastly, for products that I don't have for the beauty lover, is a silk pillowcase. So I know a really popular brand is Slip. So these are $79, but silk pillowcases are said to help with a lot of different things. Anywhere from anti-aging, hair breakage, it helps with creasing in your face and like uh, lines and stuff. And then it also hydrates your skin because cotton will pull moisture from your skin, whereas the silk won't. So your skin stays a lot more hydrated and moisturized. You can go read the reviews on them. They are amazing. I think it is a great gift. Something that somebody uses all the time. And in the long run, it has a lot of benefits for you. So I think that is a great gift idea. Okay, so that is it for my beauty lover category. All right, guys. So moving on to the fitness lover or fitness junkie, whatever you want to call it. So my first recommendation is a Swell bottle. So I know these are also a little bit more expensive, but they are super pretty and they keep water cold for 24 hours and they keep water hot or liquids hot for 12 hours. The 17 ounce will run you about $45 and the 25 ounce, which is the really big one, will run you $58. I will insert down below my two favorites. It's the matte pink one and then the marble gold one. I think those are super, super pretty. So next is a pair of Lulu leggings. I have six pairs of these. You cannot go wrong with these. Their return policy is amazing if they get any uh, pilling or they rip or anything like that. You can literally take them back and they will give you a new pair, no questions asked really. I like them for that because if I wash them and wear them all the time, that way I know when I wear them out they'll replace them. I don't know, it's just a really great store. Also, they fit really, 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 really well. So I have the low rise wonder unders. I have the high rise wonder unders. I have the high rise crop ones. I have these ones that have mesh panels in the side and they are just really comfortable. They are really, really flattering. And like I said, their, their return policy and customer service is amazing. So they are a little bit more expensive as well. So these will run you around $98 for the Wonder Unders. And I just have not found nothing that fits better, nothing that lasts better. And yeah, so if you know somebody that's really into fitness or just into comfortable clothes, I wear them to work all the time. If I did work out, I would wear them to work out, but I don't. So Lulu's highly highly recommend for the fitness lover. So next, the Nike, sorry, these are dirty. The Nike Free Run 5.0s. 
So these are really, really comfortable. They are super lightweight. I wear them all the time, not just to work out or like do something that involves physical activity. Um, but they are just comfortable shoes that I know I can wear all day if I have a lot of walking around to do and they won't bother me. They're super lightweight, like I said. They're not crazy expensive. These are actually on sale from $100 to $84 because they are the older season model. They go with a lot and I know a lot of people wear them. Like I've seen a lot of fashion bloggers wear them in their outfit posts and stuff because they are very stylish too. So those are my shoe recommendations. Okay, these kind of fit under two categories as well. Kind of the fitness lover slash kind of the, the homebody because I wear these laying around the house. But you could also wear them to like yoga or I like I said, I wear them for running around. So these are by the brand Elephant Pants and they are just that pants with elephants. They're like the harem style pants so they're tight around the ankles and tight around the waist and then they go really baggy. So they're super comfortable. They're also really really cute. I have those ones and I have these ones which are the purple ones. They're called the Drona. So that is these ones. They have a ton of other different styles. So what's cool about this company is that each pair of pants is named after a specific elephant. So this one is named Drona. So on the website it says Drona was the second lead elephant of the Mysore procession. He did not get along with electricity. I know these ones, I can't remember, I think they were called the Black Diamonds. They, they're not on the website right now, but they were named after another elephant in the circus. And I think it's just a great cause. I love elephants. Also the website says that their team pays twice the minimum wage to the workers that make these pants. They are provided with health care and they are given a green environment to work in. And they are made in Thailand. Yeah, so it's a great cause. It gives a little bit back. I think it gives 10% of all sales of the pants to the whatever elephant foundation they are working with. I know they switch off depending who is in need a little bit more. And then my splurge gift for the fitness lover is the Fitbit Alta HR. So this has a heart rate monitor, a sleep monitor, I think it tracks your steps, your stairs, literally everything, and it is the thinner one with a screen on it, which is why I thought it was the a good option. I also know a couple people that have one, and I asked them their opinions on it, and they said it was really good, and they loved them. So this one is $199, so it's about mid-price. Some of the other ones are a lot more expensive. If somebody is into fitness and tracking all of their activity and stuff, they can do competitions, um, with their friends they can like I said just track everything it's cool for the fitness lover I know people that I work with Sunita lives by this thing and I get her uh, daily updates of her steps every every day every day if you want to spend a little bit more money on somebody that is an awesome option okay so next group of gifts is for the homebody okay so next set of gifts is for the homebody and I have quite a few gifts for here because I also love lounging around and lazing around when I am not working. Okay, so you can't go wrong with something for the bath. I love taking baths. I take baths like twice a week. It's just like a time to relax. Sometimes I'll bring a book and just chill out. So one of my favorite things, which is kind of weird but awesome, is this bath pillow. So there is suction cups on the back. It sections to the back of your bath and yeah it's filled with like little micro beads I don't remember exactly where I got that one from but I'll link one down below that's similar I use it all the time it's a little bit more comfortable than you putting your head on the wall or the ceramic or whatever also one of the which I don't have the bath caddy so I found a really cool one online it's only $50 from the bay and it has a wine glass holder and it has a book prop and then it has a little self-draining soap dish so that you can put your soap there. You don't have to worry about your book falling in the bathtub, which I risk doing all the time. It's just a cool gift to have in general. Get them a bath pillow and the book caddy and you're good. And if you want to also, my other recommendation for the bath lover is bath bombs and you obviously cannot go wrong with Lush. I don't have any to show you right now because I use them all already so hint hint mom I would love some for Christmas. So next is I love this. If somebody loves tea I love loose leaf tea and this is a great gift 
So you put your loose leaf tea in here, you pour your water on top, and then you set it on top of a mug. Here, I'll use the mug that I got going on. Also, how cute is my mug, guys? Yeah. Let's talk about this for a second. He's so cute. Okay, so anyways, you put it on top of your mug, and you heard that little click, and it dispenses the hot water into your mug and keeps the loose leaf tea in the steeper. I also use that all the time. It's a great gift. You can get that somebody that and some loose leaf tea and you are set. Okay, next is a good pair of slippers. I love my slippers that I have. So my recommendation is the Ugg slippers. I'll link the exact ones down below. They are just so fuzzy. They keep your feet really warm. I like the bottoms of them because they are like the harder plastic. So you don't have to worry about them falling apart or anything like that. They're really sturdy and they have lasted a really long time. So I highly recommend those to anyone that likes to lounge around. I also have always have cold feet, so that is a great gift option. My next recommendation is kind of another group of recommendations. So this is a nebulizer or a diffuser. So this one is from Sage. Sage is a Canadian company. I have had these, we have one in like almost every room of the house. We have one in the dining room, have one in my bedroom. My mom has one in her bedroom. We have, I have one in my last room. This is actually one for my last room. This one is ceramic. They do have plastic ones. So this one's a little bit more expensive. This is $89 and you put essential oils and water in it and then it diffuses it into the air and your air is just clean and smells nice. I use this every night before I go to bed and I put lavender essential oil in it and I swear it does help me sleep better. In the daytime, I put like grapefruit or some sort of a citrus just that's kind of like a wake me up. So with that, you can also get them some essential oils. So like I said, my favorite is lavender. This is the giant lavender one because I use it when I'm doing lashes, I use it every night before I go to bed. So this is the ginormous bottle. You can also get a really cool kit from either Sage. This is obviously not sponsored by Sage. So this is a happiness diffuser box blend. So it is full of citrusy ones, like I said. So there is four different diffuser blends in here. That way people can try out different things. Um, another cool kit is from Doterra and it has, it's a beginner's trio kit and it has lemon dirt, lemon dirt, wow. It has lemon, it has a peppermint oil and a lavender oil. One other thing that I don't have, so a heated blanket. Like I said, I am always cold and this is a great idea. I have a heated mattress pad so it's on my mattress and I can, there's a little dial and I can turn it up, turn it down, whatever, and I'll put it on when I go out for a little bit and then I'll come back home and my bed will be really warm and it's wonderful. But it's not portable, so a heated blanket is really cool because you can bring it anywhere in the house. And then lastly for the homebody, if you don't have these, you need them. This is literally one of the best gifts I have ever gotten. I own six pairs of these ones and two pairs of these ones. I have a problem. If I'm not at work, I live in sweatpants. It's the only thing you'll ever see me in. My mom is embarrassed to go out with me most of the time, but it's okay. So my first recommendation is the Roots Salt and Pepper Boyfriend Pants. So these are baggy. The bottoms are baggy. They're actually, they're elastic bottoms, but they're baggy. They say roots on the butt and they have pockets. And my entire family is addicted to these. My mom, my dad has like six pairs. My brother has like 10 pairs. We all live in root sweatpants and I could not recommend a pair of sweatpants more. But if you want to look a little more put together and feel like you can leave the house a little bit more because sometimes I look a little questionable leaving the house in those. I mean, I still do. I have no shame. But if you want to look a little more put together, these are your guys. So these are the Roots Skinny Cozies. So these are essentially like a fleece lined legging. They have the elastic bottoms, but they are tight all the way through. They also make your butt look pretty good. Just saying. Um, so I have these in dark gray and then I also have them in the salt and pepper as well. They are super, super comfortable and I love them. I highly recommend. These are wonderful. 
like I said, they're a little bit more acceptable to leave the house in all the time. But I do it anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Sorry, mom. Okay, so the last group of gifts is a kind of more fun. So that is actually it for my gift guide, guys. I hope you got a couple ideas out of this. Even if, like I said, you don't get anything off this list, if it sparked an idea for somebody on your list, that is awesome. Then my job here is done. So I will see you guys all before Christmas, but good luck Christmas shopping and thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos from me, be sure to subscribe to this channel and we will see you all again very soon. Bye everyone. Do we look alike? Probably. I wouldn't be surprised.